Welcome back to another edition of CCS and Sons Workshop. I'm Corbett and today I'm going to show you how to make this kid's toolbox for under $25 in less than an hour. It's a really easy and really fun project you can make for your kids and even get them involved if you want. I use some tools that you might not have at home so throughout the video I'll suggest tools that you could use instead of the higher end ones that I may be using. Thanks for watching. So the first cuts that we're going to make are to make the two end pieces that the handle goes through. So we'll cut the 1x6 and make two 8 inch long pieces out of 1x6 material. Then we're going to cut the two front and back side rails. We'll make those 10 and a half inches long. We're going to cut those out of the 1x4s. Next we're going to lay out the tapers that will add to the two end pieces that hold the handle. I marked a 2 inch flat portion at the top right above the handle and then that tapered down four and a half inches uh, to meet the rest of the side. And you can really lay this out however you like. This is just an example of what I thought looked good. You'll want to also note the center of those two end pieces for drilling the hole for the handle later. I used a miter sled and my table saw to make these angled cuts, but if you don't have one, you could just use a circular saw and a straight edge as well. Then I used a 7 8 inch Forstner bit on my drill press to drill the two holes in the two end pieces. If you don't have a drill press, you could hand drill these with a hand drill. Then go ahead and start laying it all out and adding some wood glue. The wood glue is what the bulk of the strength is going to come from. The wood glue is actually stronger than the wood itself in this application. So while I do use a brad nailer, that's really just to hold everything together as the glue sets. Uh, if you've got some clamps and glue, that's all you really need for this. Go ahead and clean up any of the excess glue squeeze out at this time. It's just going to save you on sanding later. All I used to secure the dowel as a handle was wood glue. I found it easiest to put the dowel all the way through first and then apply a little bit of glue inside the hole and around the dowel, smear it around and stick it back in. I started doing some of the sanding at this point, but you could wait to the very end as well. The next step is to cut the bottom out of that one quarter inch sheet of plywood. I have a table saw, so I use that. Uh, I also use my circular saw to make one of the last cuts. If you don't have a table saw, use a circular saw with a straight edge or even a hand saw. And then glue it onto the bottom. I purposely left my bottom piece a bit long so that I could use a trim router to clean it up at the end. Obviously if you don't have a trim router, just make sure your bottom piece fits the exact bottom dimensions. Again, glue and clamp, some brad nails and you're good.
If you want, this could be the end. I wanted to take it one step further and add a coat of water-based poly, so I wiped everything down with a cheesecloth before I applied a couple coats. If you are going to use the polyurethane, let it dry and then sand down the first and second coat with 220 or 320 grit sanding block and then apply the, another coat on top of that. And there you have it, a super simple and functional toolbox for your little one to fill with all their Fisher Price tool sets. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a thumbs up and as always hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to see more videos when I release them in the future. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.